The following video was filmed about three weeks before the world crisis and by no means encourages travel until it is safe to do so by the proper authorities. What's up, Jaycationers? We are here in Budapest, Hungary at the Aquincum Hotel. Shout out to the Aquincum. We're here hanging out in the hotel room, getting settled in. All this travel, San Diego to LA, LA to Barcelona, Barcelona to Budapest, finally in a place where I am gonna be staying for the next six, seven nights. So just unpacking and about to hop a shower. And then we're gonna go out a little later tonight here in Budapest. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and please comment and let me know what's going on with y'all. Our first stop on the trip was this amazing restaurant on Gellert Hill with great views of Pesh, where we had our first experience with Hungarian food and the drink Palinka. Apparently, Palinka can be served before, during, and after dinner. Alright guys, so we're out here drinking Polinka. Not even had dinner yet. We got Polinka coming. So we're here at a restaurant called Bushalo Yuhas in the Geller area. Uh, we just had a shot of Polinka to start our dinner. Usually that ends the dinner. It's pear based. It's amazing. After a shot of Polinka, we had the mushroom consum soup. It was a Hungarian soup the smallest mushrooms I've ever had. It reminds me of miso soup with some spice to it. And I got this pork with mashed potatoes, tomatoes, and some salad. And it looks fantastic. It's breaded mangelica loin with truffle mashed potato. The Mangalitsa pig is a Hungarian pig covered in curly fur that was developed in the early 1800s in Hungary. These pigs roam around freely and have a high concentration of lard. This type of pork is pricey and is considered the Kobe beef of pork. Tonight, we dined on breaded mangalika pork loin. So these mashed potatoes are truffle mashed potatoes. That's why they have so, such a great taste to them. And the pork is just oh, it's awesome. It's a great combination. And you know, not much salad in it, but who needs it when you got truffle mashed potatoes? And that mushroom consum, the soup, the small, the very small, they look like little like balls. That is the best spicy miso soup I've ever had. For dessert, we were served creme brulee and quickly I realized why Budapest is nicknamed the Paris of the East. We got the uh, blackberry creme brulee. And y'all know how much I love that creme brulee. So they say Budapest is kind of like the East version of Paris in a way. This creme brulee. It's like a, like a cheesecake type creme brulee. I know it's not a good idea to have a coffee mixed with beer after dinner, but I had a coffee mixed with beer after dinner. After this amazing meal, we walked it off up Gellert Hill to check out the amazing views of Budapest. We're here at Gellert Hill, looking over the beautiful views of Budapest. We're on the Buddhist side, looking at Buddha Castle, the chain bridge, and everything else on the Pesh side. It's beautiful right after dinner. The restaurant is just like a three minute walk from here. I remember being here, flashback to that a couple years ago. This right here is the Liberty Statue, atop Budapest. So this is a really cool area on top of the hill with the Liberty Statue and then you get to see all the other bridges. The Liberty Statue was built in 1943 to commemorate the Hungarians who fought for freedom. The statue features Lady Liberty holding up a giant leaf. We just made it over to the top to the uh, Liberty statue and I was here in the day but at night there's just a different type of feel here where you get to see Budapest light up, lit up with this statue lit up as well. It's just awesome to take in and really enjoy being up here. I didn't even have to hike up. Take the bus up here, not that much of a hike. It's just a little cold right now. Along with the famous Liberty statue are two other statues atop Gellert Hill. 
One statue features a man holding a flame, and the other is of a man slaying a dragon. The Liberty statue can be seen from miles away and serves as a beacon of hope for two cities that once struggled for freedom in the communist era. Oh, I just love this new camera. Like, look at that. That's the Liberty statue. We're here with all the homies from AFWB. Just touring around. Oh, Budapest, that's why. I love coming back to these places. A night out in Budapest wouldn't be complete without visiting one of the many ruin bars around the city. Night one, we're out here at a ruin bar called Fogash. About to have a local beer. Yeah. Night one, it's a Wednesday night, so it's still kind of slow. Tap three, son. Boom. No, and it has face track? Yeah, it has face track, and then look, it's crazy, no right? Way. And, and that looks that looks super wide right now, right? What? And then if you put that on, just like, no way. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. It's a trip, right? And it That's literally like will roll bucks. with your face. Yeah. So what? Face and it stabilizes. It's a stabilizer. Uh, you record that. No way. Oh my gosh. After geeking out a little bit on my DJI Osmo Pocket camera. We turned the corner around to a donor kebab spot to end the night. Donor spots around town are open late and are really cheap. Over our week in Budapest, we must have had five nights that ended with donor kebabs before heading back to our hotel. And I tell ya, each night was definitely a treat. This is JJ Manicus with AFWB and I am here with AFWB founding member Gary Barnage. We're here at one of our sponsors and we'd like to thank them, uh, the Aquincum Hotel. Yeah, we're very appreciative of the Aquincum Hotel. Uh, they've been very generous in helping us with the sponsor and uh, it's an amazing experience. And I think they're gonna really enjoy us being here and we're gonna enjoy being here as well. What's up, JK Shiner? So we're here at the Aquincum Hotel in Budapest, Hungary. What I really love about this hotel is that it has its very own mini thermal spa. So if you're staying in here, you get to go to a thermal spa and you don't have to pay the extra fees to get into the more popular ones around the city. And it's a, a nice little alternative for you. So let's go and take a little tour around the hotel. The Aquincum used to be an ancient Roman town on the outskirts of Budapest. The hotel is located on the Buddha side of the city, right next to Margaret Island on the Danube River. In the lobby, you'll find a map of the original town. So when you enter the hotel lobby, um, breakfast is included in your stay. And this restaurant right here, Restaurant Apicius, has a buffet style breakfast. You can get omelets made and it's pretty good. If you're looking for a gift shop or a business center, they also have that here. So if you need to print something out or check out the internet, they have it here. They also have a great little piano here. So if you're in the lobby and you want to play some music, a little grand piano and the Aquincum. Unfortunately, I experienced FC Barcelona getting throttled by Real Madrid in this exact river bar. Also, they have the river bar for some drinks to hang out around the lobby. And they also play some Champions League matches over here. So if you want to see your favorite sports, they show them here, they even show some handball. The sport of handball is very popular in Budapest and although I can't grasp exactly how the game is played, we try our hand at handball on an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. Just a few floors down from my hotel room was the Aquincum's Thermal Spas. And I tell you, if you're looking for some rest and relaxation, this is the place to visit. Over here is the beautiful mini thermal spas. They have a couple, one, two, three, four, and then a jacuzzi in the back. They also have a sauna for men and women. If you want to come in here and you need a workout or just to chill in the pool, you got your common areas to check it out, but it's Budapest style, it's Hungary style. It's just like the thermal baths, except you're in your own hotel. You can enjoy a dip in the thermal pools and then hop a shower after and head to the sauna for a quick sweat. Just don't walk into the wrong sauna like I almost did. That would have been embarrassing. So this is the ladies sauna guys. So don't be walking. If you're a dude, don't walk into the ladies sauna because it's right here. And then the men's sauna is across the way on the other side. This is an awesome jacuzzi right here. You get to hang out in here in this little circular tub. Although the Aquincum is on the outskirts of the city, nightly rates are lower and it's a cheap Uber ride into Budapest. If you're looking for a nice hotel with decent rates, this might be the place for you. 
you also have a decent sized gym to get a little workout in while on the road and here in Budapest. And then if you're tired and just want to chill out after, just head to the bath. The health spa also has a juice bar and workout area and also offers a full body massage by appointment. So all in all, the Quincum has 310 rooms. It's a great place to stay, especially if you want your own bath within a hotel. So go check it out. I'll leave it in the description box below. All right, JK Schooner, so that does it here in Budapest. Please like, comment, and subscribe. What type of content do you want to see around here in Hungary? We're also going to Romania. Please let me know in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.